We are going to look at the rule based intrusion detection in this session. We already seen in intrusion detection system there are two types one is statistical anomaly detection and the second one is rule based intrusion detection system. So this is one more method apart from the statistical anomaly detection. So in this case the intrusions are detected by observing the events in the system and formulating set of rules based on the observed events. These rules will lead to a decision regarding whether the given pattern of current activity is suspicious or not suspicious. We can basically characterize uh, these rule based ideas techniques as rule based anomaly detection and rule based penetration identification technique. However, both of them have certain overlap in their functioning. So let's look at both of them in brief. In rule based anomaly detection, as already told, <coughs> it is similar to the statistical anomaly detection. However, very important thing here is the rules are generated whereas their statistical steps are done to measure certain activity. Rules are generated basically through the historical audit records that is the records which are being generated or analyzed to identify certain behaviors or usage patterns. Based on those usage patterns, the rules are generated which actually describe the patterns of a user. These rules actually represent the past behavior of patterns of users, programs, privileges, terminals and so on. Normally here, the current behavior of a user is observed and what all transactions the current user makes is matched against the set of rules in the rule base to determine if this particular current behavior confirms to any historical observed pattern of behavior. If it is confirming to those set of rules, then the user is an authorized user. If it is not confirming to the set of rules, then user is a intruder. This does not require the knowledge of security vulnerabilities within the system. It just goes on the assumption that future will be like the past. That is, you are working on the patterns that are captured in the past and then trying to look at in the future that these patterns will be followed. This technique requires large database of rules to make it more effective. So next we look at the rule based penetration identification. Here the rules are used for identifying the known penetrations or the penetrations that may have exploited the weaknesses of the system or the user or the process. Rules are also defined here basically to identify the suspicious behavior even when the behavior of a user is within bounds of the patterns of the usage. So this is much more little powerful than the earlier technique that is rule based anomaly detection. The rules used in these systems are specific to a machine and operating system which is one of the biggest disadvantages. It is not an open technique but it works on specific to the machine and the operating system. The most fruitful approach to developing the rules in this case is to analyze the attack tools and scripts that are collected on the internet. Here we can supplement the rules that are being generated by some knowledgeable security personnel through interviews. For example, you may interview system administrators or security analysts to collect a suite of known penetration scenarios which they observed and then you know throw light on that what kind of events have happened and where that could be detected. All such kind of things uh, could be explained by them through the interview and they can be supplemented to generate the rules. So one simple example of the type of rules that can be used is found in NIDX which was developed on Unix system. It is a network intrusion detection expert system. It was an early system which made use of heuristic rules to assign the degrees of suspicion to the activities. 
So let's look at some of the rules what NIDX used to detect the intruders. intruders. There are six rules specified here. The number one is they went on the assumption that users should not read files in others users personal directories. For example, I as a user Sunil cannot read from the other user Smith directories. So users must not write other users files. We can only write on our own files but not on others files. So users who log in after hours often access the same files they used earlier. For example, if I am looking at a document file uh, like a .doc file after certain hours, I'll come back and access the same file. That was the assumption. Users do not generally open disk devices directly, but rely on higher level operating system utilities using OS they open the disks. Users should not be logged in more than once to the same system. That is, users cannot multiple um, log into the system. Users do not make copies of the system program. So system programs usually an authorized user do not copy them. It will be there in the system itself. But if a person is copying the system programs from the system, it means that he might be an intruder. So these are some of the rules uh, given by NIDX to identify the intruders. There's one concept we need to look at called as base rate fallacy. So normally what all rules based techniques or you know statistical anomaly based techniques we develop is not 100% sure that all intruders will be detected and even sometimes authorized users are detected as intruders. So this is a failure of the intrusion detection system it will not be 100% correct. So intrusion detection system should detect a substantial percentage of intrusions while keeping the false alarm rate at an acceptable level. You cannot totally remove this false alarm rate, but it should be at an acceptable level. If you can able to detect modest percentage of actual instructions, that means system provides a false sense of security. If the system frequently triggers an alert, when there is no intrusion that is a false alarm or you know it's a false positive so in such cases oftenly if this false alarms come up the system managers will begin to ignore the alarms and sometimes if they would like to know what at, uh, what uh, has happened the time will be wasted analyzing the false alarms as you know due to the nature of probabilities involved in user to user behavior patterns it is very difficult to meet the standard of high rate of detections with low rate of false alarms so that's the concept of base rate fallacy to summarize the the contents in this video which were presented you can test your outcomes by answering these following questions that is what is meant by rule based ideas how does rule based penetration ideas work? What rules are used in an IDX? And what is the concept of base rate fallacy?